so hello everybody how are you getting on um it's been a long time since i did a video i think it's like close to two months so the youtube algorithm isn't going to be too happy with me but sure there you are i thought i'd do a little follow-up video because today uh, here in my workshop i have finally got my e-bike working in it's alive um in my last video i did explain that i had blown my my sabaton controller so just briefly briefly just to explain what happened I was playing around with the wiring I hadn't disconnected the battery so let that be a warning to you I was playing around with the wiring and what I was doing was I was actually setting up my pedal assist and the wire had came loose from the back of one of the connectors and it touched off another connector so I saw a spark out the corner of my eye a little flash so I found that wire and I pulled it disconnected it really quickly and then I looked at my controller and there was smoke coming out of it so that was it it was fried um, it left me with a couple of options that I explained in the other video, but the one I went for was to buy a brand new controller from my supplier. Now, unfortunately, my supplier took, I think I ordered it in the start of June. It didn't come here until last week, so a ridiculously long time. But to be fair, the supplier put their hand up and admitted that it was their fault entirely. So they said to me that um, what they had done was they had created the label and then they left it sitting in their warehouse. They didn't organize for a collection. So they... Um, they were very good. Now, one thing I will say, I did say in the last video that you can you could probably buy one of these off of Alibaba, one of these controllers. But I, I, I think there's a little bit more to it than that because the supplier was asking me a lot of questions. You know, they wanted the serial number off my motor. They wanted um, the serial number off. They wanted to know the model of my display. I have a UKC1. So there was a, they seem, it seems that they need a lot of information to program the controller. So I don't think it's as simple as just buying one online. Maybe it is. Okay, I didn't anyway, so I got one from my supplier but i ran into a snag right so what happened to me was um i connected up all the wiring again everything was great i thought i was i thought i was ready to go i twisted the throttle and nothing it was dead i couldn't believe it because the controller had cost me like something like 200 by the time it got here it was 250 bucks and i was thinking i'm after wasting all this money now because i can't fix it but then I started looking online and i think what happened and i should have looked at this was when the wire touched the connector and i pulled it away from the connector when the when i saw the little shark the little spark i should have looked at what connector that was because i suspect now it was the throttle so what that meant it had done was whatever current it had sent to the controller and popped the transistor in the controller it also sent the surge of power up into the throttle and damaged the throttle because those throttles if you open them up i actually watched a guy on youtube there's only a tiny little sensor inside them a little tiny thing and i think i had blown that um i don't know but what I do know is I was sitting here scratching my head. I couldn't figure out why I had no um, throttle and what was going on. So loads of lads online, not so much YouTube, but forums were saying that you need to test the voltage. Like, let, honest to God, I'm the worst in the world for this now. I know, I know zero about electronics. When we grew up, it was all motorbikes and cars and engines. And we were well before the electronic age. But anyway, um so what i did was uh, and, and it's kind of funny considering how little i know is i bought one of these okay so it's a little voltage meter thing and you set it up and it's got a little digital display and you get these two little prongs and you connect them and it tells you if there's power running through that's as much as i know right <laughs> um so anyone that understands this is going to be looking and thinking god your man really doesn't have a clue but this thing this little yoki was only about 14 quid so it's a good, i think it's a good you know it's handy to have i can I can, uh, if I ever get anyone in with an e-bike and they need to fix it, I mightn't be the right person to fix it, but I, I, I'd, have, I'd have a look. This, this, this will be handy, you know. So uh, I checked my throttle, and on the throttle, apparently you're supposed to have, like we'll say, you you put the you put the little red fell in, the black fell into the back of the connector, and you get a reading of one one, and then you put it, you you cross them, then you go from the other one. You just check the other two wires, and it goes up to something like. 3.4 or 3. Point, I think mine was 3.8 that's just supposed to have but what I had when I checked mine is I had 3.8 and I had 0 0.01 so there was I knew then okay this is the controller so I, I took a video sent it to my um, supplier and to be fair to them they sent me out a brand new controller so they said they agreed with me they said yeah that's those, those readings are completely wrong uh, so it was my controller or sorry sorry they sent me out a brand new throttle I apologize so um, I connected up the throttle this morning and bingo, my bike is running. So that's that's all the videos about. I also I also managed to get my pedal assist working, which I think I'll use a lot because I want to use. Even though this e-bike is an absolute animal of a thing, and I got it up to I think eighty four kilometers an hour. I'm not sure what that is in mileage, 
But I'm going to do a video soon where I'm going to take it out on the road and I'm going to record a spin just to kind of show people how much fun this thing is. But what I'm going to do is I want to use the pedal assist because I want to cycle this thing as much as I can for fitness uh, with, with, with the, obviously the benefit of having the e-bike. Um, you know, and, and then if I if I get into the city and I'm in traffic, that I can just sit sit in the middle of the traffic and use the throttle. So, anyway, that's it. Thanks to everybody that um, watched and liked, and you know, I've I've got a few subscribers now, which is incredible. So, um, yeah, thanks a million. I I I I I've been saying this from day one, but I will do a video. I think I I I I get the impression that everyone wants to see videos of these things out on the road. So I'm going to do a video uh, on the road next, and I'll just show you how I tidied up my wiring and so on. So that's it. Thanks everybody. And I'll see you in the next one.